told me to believe in better than from the If the light is out on the wall, there's a story meant to be told. But the door is shut in the wall. Somebody told me to Just to really open up the front of those hip flex, that anterior chain across your body here. Just be really gentle with that. Just fostering the other side. Good to hear some of you folks chromecasting this to a bigger screen in the lounge. A few of your audio on, which is great. Welcome. Remember in the last word. Maybe your chest is tight, maybe your shoulders, so anything just over the next couple of minutes, just to kind of loosen up, getting ready for the workout ahead. Before you take the flight, love, that I can't fall. I'll let you in your bed, love. I'll be thrown into the darkness. Tomorrow, but for 
Well, I think I might get started. Um, I just want to welcome everybody along to this um, Pilates class today. The sun is shining. It's absolutely spectacular out there. So it's good to give yourself a little bit of time on the mat before we go and enjoy our day. Um, one of my youngest children said to me today, um, how do Easter bunnies stay healthy? And she said they exercise. So, hey, kids can do dad jokes. I can share that with you, right? <laughs> Um, as always, guys, I will provide options along the way. A lot of folks are saying sometimes it gets a little bit tough. Um, I'll always try and accommodate that. And as I know, everyone's very different out there in Facebook and YouTube world. So as I said, um, it's so delightful to have um, this space and place to be with you all going through all this. And um, certainly makes my day to have you join me. So let's get started. We're going to start, of course, with what we would normally do is just to address the spine and the breath work and just to figure out what um, our core is sort of doing for our posture. Mm -hmm. Hands under those thighs. Lift the toes up so we can recruit a little bit under here. And just feel yourself lift up through both sides of those waists. These ribs tend to float a little bit. Keep those tucked in. Shoulder blades around the back and down. Neck is nice and long. And hold yourself really tall. And then allow yourself to pull back to what I call a C curve or a flexion in the spine. Not the nose down, always look at your tummy and through your top that pelvis and then lift yourself up. We'll do this three or four times and each time I want you to see how less you need to use your hands and maybe even reach here. So tilt under, tilt under, tilt under and then lift up. You may notice your hips really grabbing you first. I want the tummy to do the work. Really try and transpose that thinking into your tummy and then lifting on up. Again, we pull back and then lift. And just for the cherry on the top, raise those arms right over here and do a couple of these with me. Lean right back, right back, right back, right back, right back. Watch the tummy pull in for yourself. And then inhale to lengthen big time. Really get that erect spine. Come back to halfway, halfway down. Stay right where you're at. Here's another challenge, opening arms wide. For some reason, this is really tricky to keep your pelvis round and under. Let's lift those arms up. Scoot back, scoot back, scoot back. On palms to ceiling here. Widen, widen, widen. It almost feels like you're going to fall over. Last one. Scoop under, scoop under. Reaching wide, I want you to stay on your partial roll back, grab your side of your legs, knock the nose down and slowly articulate your spine coming down. Bit by bit by bit, really resist, really resist, and then float your knees up to tabletop. Now pop your head down for now, face your arms to your sides and press the legs out to a high diagonal. You'll see this leg action a lot in today's class. Pull back in. Allowing the hips now to take over. So reach out the legs, maybe lower and lift them a little bit, you strong ones, and then pull back in. Feel your thighs coming together and really squeeze the heels. Now I've got my feet in a Pilates stance, which helps rotate those big femurs in here into your hips nicely. Last one, just prepping up the front of the body here just gently, and then pull back in. Upper body's turn. Let's curl up together, float those arms to hip height, looking straight down your top, flatten that belly, and then come back down through the shoulder blades, head, neck. Come again, exhale. And yes, I'll be puffing and huffing, but it's a really good way to diaphragmatically assist your range of motion in your core chamber. This is like a little cylinder. We need to empty the lungs, the lungs together. Get into that tight squeeze, that tight contraction to make very effective and back down all right for those who know classic pilates we start class with the hundreds look at these arms are right by the hips you can stay your legs there if you want to we're going to start pumping exhale again or if you want that added intensity you take the legs away at a high diagonal it's looking down really vigorous i always imagine bouncing two tennis balls either side Lift your shoulders up and keep the blades of the back behind you. In other words, no shrugging. 
Halfway through, you're doing fine. Remember, you can mix and match the intensity levels at all times, okay? Pop it out, 92, 3, 4, 5, exhale. Keep your head lifted, stretch the legs up. Now rest your heads down, slide them wide. Slide them wide. Make arms up like little muscle arms. So as you reach the legs towards me, you can use your back elbow, right, to help stabilise the upper body. If there's a bit tight and something's going on, you want to always bend your legs and work with them what's going on in your body. You're still going to start to really wake up that mid-spine. So we breath in on extension. Exhale back into centre. This is still priming up, guys. You can really take this easy for now. As you age, you start to lose these very simple kind of ways of moving in these spaces. I want you to keep that up. Healthy aging people. Good. You've got two more. And as I did on Tuesday, the, low, the heel on knee on knee is a good way to get down a little lower. Emphasizing the imprint on the mat on the way back up. Last one. Woo. Good job. Place your feet down, everybody. Hands to your sides. Tilt that pelvis under and lift your hips off. Take a little breath in here. Rib change chambers nice and neutral. And extend one leg out. Holding here for four, three, two, one. One and down. This is just a little bit of activation of the posterior chain. That, that, that looks good on Easter bunnies. Those buns. And down. We'll do two more. And just note the way you're breathing. Are you flowing in with your breath? Are you kind of addressing what you're doing, focused? Feeling all those hamstrings even kind of fire on as well as your glutes. Lift the hips so that even across here. And then place it back down. Always working the articulating of the spine when you come down through the mat. For those folks who are new to rolling up, I want you to put your hands on your thighs, separate your legs a little bit, looking down, and pull yourself up, 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 and then reach out through your lumbar here. So that's a great way to kind of meet me halfway. The rest of you guys who know the roll up, can you lengthen your legs, look down, and reach back. Here we go, guys. Exhale, coming over. Really hollow out that tummy under here, yeah? Look at the head come down between the arms. It's something I want you to do, but don't dive into the pool with your shoulders as well. So they've got this kind of way of kind of floating a little too much sometimes. Here we go. Straight, strong arms. You notice how you need to kind of tuck your tailbone under a little bit too. Even in that action, you're trying to keep that tail underneath your neck. We'll do two more, more together. Remember your option here, of course, is coming up, pirating up if you need to, giving yourself an assist. Don't get too frustrated yourself if you're starting out because this will come in time. It's just, you know, got to keep going. One more time. Getting our exercise in. <laughs> and pull back down. All right. I wanted to do this in the sun today. That would have been fun. So we lift up this left leg here. I'm going to slightly point the ankle up there. The bottom leg can be flat or it can be bent. I'll meet you somewhere in between. But we circle the leg around and circle like a stirring in the pot. Cross the centre line. If you're getting really good on your stretch, the bottom leg's so, so straight. Around and up. Let's do three more this way. One. Check this lying arm, shoulder here, that it's not moving up. Same with these ribs and sides here. They're not coming over. They're staying planted. One more this direction, friends. And uh, we're going to circle the other way. A little small one first, then a medium one second, and a large one third. That small, medium, and large. You go. Hard to hold that whole entire leg in an external turnout, but I want you to try. Beautiful. Now this knee comes up high to your tummy, and I want you to physically push in high. You should feel a good release underneath the backside as well. Now your opposite hand on your knee here can help get your back nicely twisted again. So if you want to sneak in a supine twist here, look at this arm on the floor to the other way. You breathe in. 
you relax as you breathe out. Beautiful. All right, let's rinse and repeat side two. It's not going to be like copy and paste because it's always going to feel a little different from each side. So again, we start those circles across the center line. Big emphasis on the way up. You're doing a lot of containing through the center of your body. You're preventing the rockage going on here. See my bottom foot, it's flexed like crazy, pushing down the calf, pushing down the knee. My chin is lifted, so I can keep that back curve on my head, the bridge behind the back of my neck, nice and elevated. One more circle, guys. And we go the other way. Here's your small, your pivot, your medium, and then the strength one, the large circle, round over and up. Let's do that again. Small, nice, silky, fluid circles. Medium and your large. Gorgeous. We bring this knee in high and we give it a nice active stretch there. I'm going to do point twist the other way. So I'm going to let my arm go out wide to the side. And again, forward rotating over, looking at my arm tank. Take a moment to breathe into that stretch. Ooh, and then exhale. Starts to um, be quite evident how that breath can help the muscles, right? So both knees come in now. You're going to lift yourself up off the mat. So just flare off everything off the mat. And the first thing I want you to do is really brace that stomach muscles. You're pushing actively against your ankles. Your elbows are elevated and lifted wide. And you're going to do a little rock trying to resist to come up. So find your motion where you get to the top balance. <laughs> We're going to roll backwards playfully, so elbows flare wide, and we're just going to pull the belly button back into the spine as we do it. Roll back, and balance. If that's a bit much, simply do the same shape of the spine, come back, and then come up. You can do this at home and modify to what I'm doing and still creating the same shapes, but it's all abdominal focused here. We've got two more rolling like the board. Round back with me, and up. I can almost hear you giggle at home. <laughs> They're doing class. And big reach home, though, as you come into a counter stretch for that. Lift your rib cage right up, right up, and then you let the shoulder blades descend down a bit. Ribs are tucked in. Feet are flat this time. Feet are flat. We're all back and make an offering out towards each other. Passing me some hot cross buns. Yes, please. And then lift. Reaching the other way. And then lift. Just two more. If you're feeling like you're going to fall over in a small one, work on the rotation just a little bit more or lean back. One more time. All right. Let's keep those abs nicely toned with abdominal series. Lay down on your mats together. And then hug your knees up into your chest for a moment. Take a look towards me here when I start to extend one leg away. I'm lifting up my head and shoulders off. This is the isometric flexion on my upper body that I want you to maintain. Double pulse and switch. Double pulse and switch. All right? Single knee stretch. Your knees should be really tightly pulled in. The option with the legs is going to take away that level of intensity. But you're up and you're lifting. Six more. Five, four, three, two, well done. Last one, head down, knees together, ankles together. Take a moment to breathe in. As soon as you need to exhale, come back off. Pick my arms out. They reach behind, but the head stays lifted. Same with the shoulder blades. And then you circle around. Let's do the arms together again. Reach back. Don't drop those shoulder blades. Flatten the tummy. And around and add these guys here to help intensify it. Really flatten the tummy down, ribs in, ribs in, ribs in, and then circle back in for a little cuddle. Two, five, three. Remember the option up a little higher can take away some of that kind of strain if your neck is going for it. Same thing, you can put your hand behind your neck. Reach out. Yes, one more, one more, guys. I'm coming with you. Bird full reach. 
Woohoo! Coming in, coming in, coming in with a squeeze to your tummy. Heads down, legs to ceiling. Third one, single straight leg stretch. Has you looking like a pair of scissors. So both hands up here. Straighten your arms. Lift up. Look straight down to your chest. Double pull and switch, guys. Just keep working that. You'll probably feel the feedback on your hamstring more. But don't forget, this is about the lift up here. The lift. Double pull. We'll keep the legs bent and use your knees as the pull part. Hard <laughs> to talk. Double pulse. Five, four, three, two. Heads down, both legs up, both legs up, heads down, and hands come behind the neck. Not the hair, not the ears, but the neck. So you can press the lats and arm hips down a little bit. As you lower the legs away, you're kind of thinking about reaching them away, reaching them away, and then they come up quick. The two different paces here. They lengthen to reach away, and then they come up very quickly. And guys, you can actually tote it down and pull back in because you can still feel like this is working, stretching a bit, and then it's contracting, coming back in, you know? Two more together. If you've been doing this before, you know what I mean by saying on your bike, right? Crisscross, bend your knees, take a look. Rotation as you lift over. As you change sides, you're trying to stay that high, high zone. Don't lower your heads down. Let's go, friends. You've got about 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch your body out. I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting, but we've got to roll up. Here we go. And fold. All right. Let's decorate those legs slightly. Not too wide, just like shoulder width apart. We're working things in alignment to the own body. We lift those arms up. I'm just going to show you a bit of a different angle here. The head comes down, and you're going to curve over this part of your body here. So you're going to curve over. Really create a big full pull in. And slowly, for me, start to rise up again, like you're trying to peel and reverse up about a brick wall. The last thing to come up is your eye gaze and your head, yeah? Flex the toes on, turn those legs on, draw up through the pelvic floors. We curve over. Pull this in, guys. All the way down towards your ankles. And then slowly get that vertical spine. I want you to do one more. It's really from here. You're not leaning out from this lumbar bit. And it's staying right over top of here. You are curving forward from here. We're going to make that same shape in our core as we playfully roll back and do a big full flexion of our body. Have a look at this. Pick your legs up with me. Put your hands on top of your shins, not underneath, on top of them. If you find rolling back like this is fine, you may want to start to think about extending your legs. Otherwise, just stay doing that one. I'm going to reach a little higher up. Look down and do that spine stretch forward again. Just practice it. So you roll back or you prepare your spine. Then you finish with extension. Roll back for me. And uh, these are all these hourglass muscles, all the transversus muscles, pulling in, grabbing everything in, getting it close to the bone, creating that nice shape. So we'll do two more. Rolling back. Maybe the toes, roll back, and then feet down flat, hands behind your bottom. Now, let's get the breath back a little bit. Tilt the pelvis under, drag the tailbone down to the back of your feet, and then lift up for a reverse tabletop. You notice my fingers facing towards my body, which is much better for the shoulder. Begin to transfer your weight to one side without lifting up your feet and transfer your weight to the other side. If you feel pretty okay with that, extend one leg. Keep looking at the ceiling. Part of centering is just being aware of all your sensations and where you are in space too. So we lift it up a little bit. That's all. Come down. 
Come down. Come down. We roll down. We roll down. Every transition is work. Slowly resist. Slowly resist. All right, guys. Legs in the air. Start to do a little circle to the right, then the left. And then kind of connect your brain into all your foundation. What are my arms doing? Are my wrists down? Are my palms flat? Am I allowing the shoulders to soften? Is my breath full or am I sipping the air? A lot of folks sip the air or hold the air. We're going to really drink it in. That's that calming the nervous system down a little bit, right? Activates that great response in the body to let go of tension. Circle around. This takes a bit of time to strengthen up and a bit of endurance to get a lot of these reps in. So if you need a break now, take it. We've got to get that full range in. A few strong ones out there. Last one. And then what I want you to do is just take a really glamorous, what we call the open fan stretch. Just a little inner thigh thank you here. And then release to come up to a seated position. All right, guys. Here we are, we're at the place where we do the sore. Fabulous exercise for your lower back that you hold a lot of tension in. Roll the knees away and the toes are flexed. You want to work on feeling quite posh and upright. And as you rotate, just do three to the right first here. One, two, three, and then spiral to the other side. One, two, three. Keep going. I really want you to pull up the muscles in your arms and feel like you're trying to touch either side of the wall. You're spiraling around through your vertebrae like a maypole. So you're trying to get higher, 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 higher. Two more. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Relax your shoulders. Now, I'm going to need to say that if your legs are a bit fiery and don't like them like that, you can sit on a bunched up. Uh, jersey or a pillow underneath here because it's not about hamstrings right now. This is about you being comfortable keeping your spine in neutral. So let's do the saw. We turn to the right and then we saw the little toe. One, two, three. Look at my arms as I do it and then I want you to carry on. Yeah, and then the head rests on the inside of your bicep. Great for massaging all those um, kidneys. And organs inside, and to get that rhythm of breathing again. One more, guys, You're doing great. Two, three, great. All right, let's work that waistline. Whittle the waistline away a little bit over Easter. Sounds like a grand plan to me. Fingers are facing that way. Again, with the knee, it's going to keep in line with your hand. But we're going to do the full side plank. If you have wrist issues, you'll be looking a little like this today, right? Some of us who can do the full side uh, plank, I'd like to give you um, a chance to do this today. So you'll be pressing through the left foot a lot more than the top foot. So come on off. Big rainbow stretch over. Here's what I want you to do. Hang on to the ceiling and resist coming down. It should stretch those um, lats behind you. So, again, it's about where you're placing of your knee and your foot is, right? So here's your option here, leading you somewhere in between. Hands up, Sarah. <laughs> or down here, flowing over. Just checking in. So I say, nothing's a competition when you're doing lives. And you know what you're doing. Beautiful secondary powerhouse work. This is all your shoulder girdle. Stabilizing wonderfully for you. One more time. So be using your left hand on the floor. Most certainly are you using your left foot underneath. So this one's just kind of going for the ride and then down. Gorgeous. That's how you go on the other side. With the mat, you're self-selecting now. We're proceeding with a little more experience. So we're meeting you halfway is coming, floating up, really getting this under here fired up. You don't want to have your shoulder away from your wrist. You want to have it right over, okay? It's very important. And you're powering up. Use the bottom of your, what are you, your right foot? Yeah. 
Hang on to that ceiling and resist coming down. These work sometimes on the way out of something as well as going into something. Breath in. Good job, guys, and then reach up and coming down. We're going to do one more. I'm just going to show you that other way of doing things. I've got a bit much on the old hand, and then over. You can feel those glute meats working as well. Beautiful. All right. Change of scenery. Let's take a look at the mat and a hands and knees position. So when you've got your heart between your thumbs, you tend to, a lot of folks go back here a little bit, I want you to really spread and distribute your weight evenly. Keep your feet flat for now. Breathe full out your upper back. Release that leg from behind you guys, and then just lift it. I want you to start pulsing it, sitting all the action into the glute. And when you're really pressing through the same arm here, you should be able to float up your back arm. All you're trying to do underneath here through the pelvis is to keep it neutral. This is going to be really working the abdominals as well. And we're going to do a bit of glute work here. We're going to layer in a little more from what we've done last week. So keep pushing through your anchored arm and pulsing that leg. You've got 10 more. Four, three, two, one. Keeping there, but bend your leg and pulse upwards. Pulsing upwards. You've always got that landing pad down there, that little lifeline. We call the mat. <laughs> so again, flexing that foot, pulsing up. 10, 9, 8 more. You got it. Nice. Keep going. Three. Two, one, keep it lifted and stretch it out. Holding there. Float the other arm up. Take a look, guys. We're going to take the arm and leg widely back to the centre. And then you'll need to know is elbow to hip flexion we did uh, the other day. <sighs> Go ahead and reach. Arm and leg widely. As wide as you can without making your back turn and twist and contort. And then flex in. One more time. Reaching really two-way stretch here, right? Wide to the side. And then all those amazing shapes still working the torso. Back into hands and knees, side two. Start with the leg, guys. Start with the leg. It's starting to hit my own uh, tree there. <laughs> um, you may find people rock over to one side. We'll spin into that hip too much. Try and even out as much as you can. Your hands are a good signal for that. You can see what way your weight is distributed. Push through your pointy finger of your hands if your wrists are a little sore. Remember the arm here is another way to kind of do that cross-current training. The brain, left-right brain work there. That's it. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, hold there, but bend your leg, guys. Pulse up and down. Option with the arm down. Good old classic Jane for on the movements, right? Got to work those buns to eat the buns. <laughs> arm is an option. Ten more. Remember that leg's going to stay lifted a little longer than what you really ideally want it, but this is where we start to change the body when you're out of that comfort zone. Hold. And lengthen the leg. Arm and leg to the side. Just at right angles as best you can. And then we float everything into the centre well, driving the head down under, making a huge tight ball of the body, and then stretch and fall out. Wide to the side. Lengthen. Pull it out. Don't give up on me. I really want you to do this. It will really invigorate you. Wide, wide. And then pull it in. Head down, knees in, knees in. Drive it high, wide, drive it high. One more time. Wide. Whew. And then in. Good. Little shake out. Wide recovering. Come up onto your knees. And if you want to, you can actually push knuckles to knuckles. If you've ever had any rotatory cuff kind of action in your um, disturbances in there, you can actually push them to help stabilise those better. Well, Cossack stands for the um, just starting out. This is the hinging. We'll just do four today. Hinge back. 
coming up. Mentally, you're still trying to think I'm growing taller while you're just stacking all your joints and stabilizing in the right place. The great shape for the top of your legs, that's for sure. Remember, the ribs tend to float here, so you're keeping everything kind of like between two panes of glass. Someone said it was four. One more, okay. <laughs> and back. We're going to make our way down onto our tummies. I want you to get into a plank position to do so. Otherwise, I'll see you down there. Pop up to what you know is a friendly looking plank, but I want you to push back with your heels actively to turn on your front quads and fill up between your upper back. Even the creases of your elbows should be spiraled to the front. And then just try and slowly tuck in your arms close to your rib cage, coming down, coming down slowly to the floor. Woo. Looks good. Um, today I want you to have your arms nice and wide. So you're bridging, you're bridging your fingers like so on the floor. We lift up, and I want you to take one arm to the front and one arm to the back. So you just dial it back to centre and then down. Try the other side, guys. We lift, we dial it to the front. Centre wide like an aeroplane and then down. So you can bridge the fingers first to feel the lats and back switch on for you. Lift and float to arm height, shoulder height. Back the arm goes to the front, this one, guys. And then down. Ideally, you want to have your palms always kind of droning the floor, always looking at the floor. Neck is long through the back here. And then down. Did someone say child's pose? Yeah, that's exactly what I want you to do. All right. Just like a cute little bunny. Push your hips back. Tuck away. Rest your foreheads down if you can. I need you to feel like you're breathing into your ribs back here, pulling them out, and then purging that air out. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You've got about another 10 seconds of that child's pose. You're going to really squeeze out all that stale air out of your lungs. In fact, you want to exhale a little bit longer than what it took for you to inhale those big balloons. That's when you calm that the vagus nerve right down, that flight fright in your body. Now let's do that. one more here. I'm joining you. Good. Let's come back down to our tummies. We're going to reach those arms forward. Start with those bridging fingers again. Bring your legs in quite narrow for this one. Find your pubis bone, hip bones, get a little wriggle there, know where it is. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and you're trying to look down, cross your middle finger a little bit, and then down. With my new friends who are trying Pilates for the first time, this is where you're starting to get really tired, and this is going to be like, right, I'm over this. So you continue doing this a little bit, not that much longer. The rest of us who have been doing this for a wee while can start the athletic swimmer when we go a little bit quicker. So really fire that up. You've only got about eight seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Legs over easy. Come back down onto your back. Again, reducing the speed by coming down into that full flexion, really articulating, making your way down. Still working. <laughs> Right, your feet are stacked under your knees because what we'll do is lift those hips off, right? But I want you to kind of rub those elbows in so they're quite narrow. Maybe imprint the lower back first. Rise those hips up. Really push those two front hip bones right high. But I don't want you to bridge. I want you to keep the ribs in. So there's that and then there's that. So it's still abdominals today. Once your hands are flat and your arms are really stretched out, Transfer the weight to one side first and then sneak it over to the other without lifting that foot off. If nothing's tweaky or sore in your back there where you feel good and that's locked in, raise one leg up high for shoulder bridge. Stomp the foot to the ceiling. And we're going to reach the Achilles away. That's, that's going to lead the way first. Reach the way first and then lift up quickly. Five. 
four. And I need to tell you what's hurting under there. <laughs> Three. Two. Last one. And then down. You can peel down, have a little like, what the heck was that moment? But we've got to address the other side. Same setup, guys. Our foundation's important. We tip under. We lift. You are engaged and ready to go. So you launch that leg away. Then you bring it back up real quick. Lower, lower, lower. Lift quick. Really stretching the front of that hip as you do that lowering. Really lifting up this hip as you're lowering it as well. Two more. Doing great. Lots of nice comments ponking up on the computer. You must be telling me that this is your favourite one. <laughs> and then lift. Lowering down for me. All right. I'm just going to wriggle back this way a little more. We're going to be doing the rollover next. So for my folks who know the rollover, you can get going now because what you'll do is you'll start your legs out of a higher diagonal and be doing bottoms up. If you're getting good at these, you can touch the floor, separate the legs, and then wide legs coming down. So I want you guys to carry on at home for those that know that really well. The reverse curl is a really nice way to try that um, without having to hurt the back or the neck that may be going on with your body. Another sneaky way is to keep your hands right by your bottom, roll back, and catch your hips because the hands are already there. I'll show you one more time. And then you safely roll out of it because your neck needs to go with you. So you can roll back. Your hands are already there to catch you. Yeah? And then you can roll out of it. Same thing with your neck. I'll do one more good one for you. I hope it's good. Roll over. Hips over shoulders as best you can. Separate the legs and coming down, down, tap the heels together. That's really good for that body to be able to know how to do those. Let's move on. You can do more of those if you want. It's good to see the kids try those too. Get in hand, front arm for support here. Nice long body, kind of pipe the legs off a little bit. Today we're just going to start doing a few here. Very short leg series of ups and downs, circles and rotators. All right. For you little strong ones out there, you may want to lift that lower leg up as well. It's a nice little isometric hold there for you. Funnily enough, we're still working the core's ability to stay in neutral spine here. And all the principles of the breath work, the flow, the centering, the concentrating that there is in Pilates. Circles forward. It used to be called Controlology, and I can see why. Good old Joseph Pilates, eh? I think all his recruits had the Spanish flu. Not one of them got sick because he reckons Pilates saved the day. <laughs> I'm down with that. All right, circles back the other way. Five more. Four. Three. Two, not a long one today. Last one, but hold that guy up. Hold that leg up and rotate the whole thing around. So looking at my arm, you're rotating that whole leg around as one unit, like a rotisserie. Rotate it around. Flex that foot out big time. Reach it out so as much so that you lift under here. Pat it off. To the other side. Not long to go now, guys. Hang in with me. Five more minutes. Hang in with me. We're starting those ups and downs. Remember, this setup is a long body, but pipe the legs to the front. We point to lift and we flex to lower. Just layering in those repetitions, starting to develop a bit of heat and endurance in those side leg muscles. All that fascia that runs down there, all the ligaments, ITB bands, glute meads. Win win. <laughs> Three more. Two, actively press out this lower long anchored leg too, all right? Circles forward. We did six, didn't we? I'm getting applauses for these leg circles. I think that's what all the ladies love to do, right? Six circles going to the back. Four more. 
Keep the belly slightly in, keep the pelvic floor slightly activated. Breath is full, don't shorten that breath. One more circle, friends. Right, we're holding the leg out, remember, really shunt it out that way, and then we turn the toes up to the ceiling, then turn the toes towards each other. Working efficiently means other areas in the body is not grabbing tension. The body just knows how to throw everything down to where it's been asked to work. All right, so we're going to do two more. Last one here. Oi, oi, oi. Give it a pat off. Guys, before we finish class, I want you to try for me the teaser. It's an iconic move in Pilates. It actually looks a little like this, the big full one. Back. And then up, and then you lower the legs. I'm not very good at those. Don't mind to admit it. So I'll do the tree with you. And that's one leg here. Sometimes you can float the bottom leg off. So let's try one more time, see where those tummies are at. It's really primed up, ready for this challenge. And then lift that back up. Posture training is something I'm obsessed with. It's got to be good for us. Remember, you can play, uh, we're doing three on one side. Sorry if that feels a bit um, sore already. <laughs> and then lift. It is hard to hold that leg there, yes? But your hips and core need to work and marriage together to be able to achieve that eventually. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Engage the arms. And lift. And you want to be wide across that, that collarbone there. So you're not concave and curving. You're actually upright. Even if you have to hang on. We two more. Woo! Temperature is rising. <laughs> And then left. Yeah, that's great. These call out teasers. Mermaids. Probably a whole lot of you have just come here for mermaids. I can understand why. Your knees are to the tops of your mat. Turn your shoulders and chest. Headlights on full. Your arms are wide. And we just cartwheel into the space that land on the forearm. So if we fall down, guys, we know how to get back up. Anything in the last four weeks that's taught us that, isn't it? Beautiful. We are resilient, so are our bodies. It's your mind and your body working well. Get that strength for your everyday life out there. Time for two beautiful mermaids. Aren't they lovely? And then change sides. Whee! Still keep the waist long. Ribs not floating, remember. Arms are powerful, even though they look soft. Sometimes in stillness is where your strength is. And you turn things on, turn things off. There's power. One more time. This is very elegant. Great suppleness for the ribs and spine. Then lift. Over. Yes. Well done. High five to all of you. Thank you for joining me. I'll be here again on Tuesday. Um, do keep uh, sharing those links that of the live classes that are put onto the app or the City Fitness page or the club that you've joined. Um, we will see you sometime next week. Have a fabulous Easter um, with your little lockdown bubble, and we'll see you later. Bye. Yes, I want to end the stream. <laughs> see you guys.